Energy Secretary Ed Miliband insists it's safe, he insists it's a low-carbon option, and he insists the country needs it. I understand people's anxiety about uh, nuclear power. I think, though, the truth is that the challenge of climate change is so great that it would be wrong to rule out a low-carbon alternative like nuclear. We need renewables, we need nuclear, we need clean coal. The truth is the challenge of climate change is too big to reject any of the alternatives that we can have. We've seen nuclear work in other countries. It's right that we have it here as well. That, as plans to fast-track a new generation of nuclear power stations, is set to be unveiled. The government's already outlined 11 possible locations for them, almost all on existing nuclear plants. It's expected to announce later which sites will be given the go-ahead. The UK faces an electricity crunch, with some predicting energy shortages as early as 2015, so Britain's dependence on nuclear power is set to increase dramatically. To fast-track a new generation of power stations, the government's changing the planning laws. The Tories are worried local people won't be consulted. Environmentalists claim nuclear power's simply not the answer. As Friends of the Earth's Martin Williams explains. I think the difficulty with nuclear power, which is of course a source of low carbon energy, is that it is always so expensive. It always takes a long time to build. It always comes in late. And the challenge about tackling climate change is we need to cut our carbon dioxide emissions radically and we need to do it quickly. And nuclear power just doesn't have the track record of de delivering either on time or on budget. Every pound we spend on a nuclear power station cannot be spent on insulation, on renewable energy, on all of the other things that we need to do. And it's the wrong way to go. The government's also expected to announce a new nuclear waste storage facility. It'll be built deep underground and at a cost of £18 billion, it won't be cheap. All part of the government's plan to cut carbon emissions and to fight the nation's looming power shortage.